Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? This is Growing Through My Pain. This is the next episode. Um, before we get into it, uh, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. And make sure you uh, click the notification bell um, so you're always in tune with content coming out on this channel. And especially so you can continue to um, be tuned in to Growing Through My Pain. Uh, man. I guess this episode, um, this is my first of the year. Um, I haven't been back since my last episode, which was last year. And um, I don't know. It's, you know, <laughs> let me just pause for a second. Because sometimes, you know, you really got to just take a breath and just woosah. And I'm in a moment of just needing, like, a lot of woosah. <sighs> thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, universe. Um... Um, for those who are, this is your first time ever watching one of these episodes, um, this series, um, from Can't Get Enough Of is one where I take, um, you guys do the journey as I grow, as I heal, as I learn myself, as I, you know, learn to, you know, just be the best version and the greatest version of myself. And, you know, this episode, I just want to, um, talk about where I'm at and where I've been, um, feeling, um. And I guess it can be about, I guess if I had to, you know, give like a base, a synopsis of this episode, it's like wanting to regress. It's like those urges of regression, like, yo, I've come so far in this journey. I've done, I've gotten over so many things and now I'm in a point where I just want to fall back into all my old habits and, you know, um, some of the toxic ways that I was living by because you know when you go through stuff when you experience things so long it just becomes second nature and um, as you try to change you have this constant fight especially when it's for the better it's it's so easy for us to stay in like these negative um, negative habits negative traits negative ways negative spirits because um, sometimes when we're brought up in that environment it's all we know and, and when we try to change that paradigm, when we try our own paradigm shift, it's really hard and it's a lot of resistance. And sometimes you can't predict when that resistance will come about. Um, all you can do is just say, stay cognizant of, you know, where, you, where you're trying to go. You got to stay cognizant of the finish line and things like that. If you hear things in the back, I'm recording in the park. Um, you know, you know, I do these car talks, so... Um, please be overstanding those little audio things but you know it's a nice day I wanted to be outside but um, yeah you have to stay cognizant of the end goal um, I found myself just like slipping uh, slipping into like my old habits of like dealing with things and I've, I've been in this space where I haven't been that open to myself and I, I don't know if you can relate just like existing in many ways not even like living uh, but also within that I'm also present in a lot of ways because I'm present with like how I'm feeling I'm present to know I'm present enough to know what I'm experience experiencing but it's like I don't know what the next level is as far as like what actions that has to be taken as far as you know me you know getting over like I don't want to just be aware of everything that I'm experiencing. I want to be able to deal with it and be able to function, you know, be able to, you know, combat the 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 wholeness of negativity. And I think that's what we that's that's something that we normalize too as far as neg negativity and toxic toxicity being our homes. So it be is you always want to go back home, you know? Like Oh, they say home is where the heart is, but when you're raised up in dysfunction, you shouldn't want to go back to that home. And, you know, the resistance that we may have, you know, should give us, it, it really should make us want to. My bad. I thought it was, a, um, I thought it had shut off, but, um, back to my point, um. 
what it really should make us want is something better or to create our own house our own foundation that we 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 get to choose you know and that's 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 the part of like moving out and like growing up and stuff that um is underrated as far as the growth process like when you have a good home you can stay there as long as you can and then you're able to you know put into your your home what will become your home and you know things like that but when you start off with a bad foundation and like inconsistency and all of these you know you know what comes with growing up the way we grew up you know so it's just like you don't want to go back to that so you should want to start laying down the bricks of you know this 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 house that's full service you should want to create a full service a house that services you and your needs and your healing and your spirituality and your growth you know you want a house that fosters and and, and you know protects all of those things and it's in the process sometimes where we realize like this is some work oh, i didn't mean to curse um <laughs> this is some work like and sometimes that work you know we'd be like dang like I don't really want to do all of this or you don't want to do it every day like you don't want to commit to it every day and it's something that you really have to commit to every single day and that's the hard part and that's the that's the presence in it like yo no matter what I do every day I'm gonna heal and I, I don't know what that's gonna look like every day like when you're building the house like you have like this blueprint you have and we have this we have the blueprint as far as how we want to live our lives you what we want to do with our lives you know um and that's the same as like a blueprint as far as like building a house but when when you're doing it sometimes you know okay i've been laying down bricks for three days like where sometimes we don't see it because we're we're too close to it we're too close to, we're too close to the process of a building and sometimes it's these moments and like certain things just be clicking sometimes sometimes in these moments we have to just take a step back and that step back isn't it it feels like regression because when you when you initially took step steps back you would do you would fall back into those toxic things and toxic traits and you know operate on lower frequencies but what it really is is us taking a step back to see all that we have laid down so far and just be like whoo all right lunch break all right all right five minute break or something we have to give ourselves breaks in this journey in this process and maybe that's what it is i've been too hard on myself you know like I, I don't envision this as being like a day has all the answers. Like, nah, I'm going to talk. I'm going to just say how it is, how I'm living it, you know. But, you know, maybe that's that's what that's what where, where we are as far as like this feeling of regression. It's just like, yo, I just need to take a step back and I just need to appreciate where I've come from where where I've been like where I'm headed and where I'm at right now and honestly where I'm at right now is just I I, I know myself this is the most I've known myself this is the most I've known my feelings this is the most I've known my emotions this is the most I've known what I wanted to do with my life and there's victories in that like that's a fucking win oh I'm had to bleep that out. I had to bleep that out. But that's a win. Like for me, that's a win. And you know, I don't know, man. It 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 just feel in, in these moments that I'm just gonna fall into like this like this low vibrating frequency in which like I can't pick myself out of. And I don't want to experience one of those lows because like. For me, those lows come with feeling like I have to give up everything. And in the sense of like, I feel like sometimes I get attached to everything that's around me. And in like a way of like, just this disconnection. 
it it causes me it causes me in ways to become disconnected disconnected in the sense of like all right like i have all these things around me but i don't know what their role is i don't know what the use is like even myself like i'm it's this feeling of a disconnect from myself and when you have that disconnection and you have so much around you and what's around me is really tools for tools to do everything i want to do like i realize like i have every tool that i have in my tool belt right now can build me the house that i want it's just a matter of like well i need this extra tool and i want this extra tool and this tool doesn't do this and you know but what i'm finding is i'm not applying my tools to the to i'm not putting them in the best situation to work to help me build my place of healing my place of peace my um place and center of greatness like i failed to do that so even like realizing that it's kind of like damn dang dude like you gotta you gotta work with what you got and what you got will get you where you want to go you gotta work with what you got and what you got will get you where you want to go and that's some real stuff bro like and you know like this is me talking to myself <laughs> But talking to you guys too because you know on your journey you may find yourself here where it's like yo i don't know what i'm gonna do how i'm gonna do it i need this i need that but what it really is like yo look in your bag like i'm in my bag now in my bag now <laughs> like yo you really got to get in your bag and go through it and realize like oh this is gonna take me to this level like i can use you know the hammer to you know, I can use the hammer with these nails. You know, I can use the screwdriver with these screws. Like, I can use the wrench for this pipe. And You know, you really got to see what you got in your bag. And until you do that, you know, I think that's why we get, like, when we get in this space of, like, oh, I feel like I'm going to just regress. I feel like I'm just going to go back to everything that I didn't want everything that I was fighting to get away from. I feel like I, I'm just going to go right back to it. Like, I can't help that feeling. I feel like it's like, all right, when we get like that, it just needs to like be a bell in our head or like a reminder. Like, yo, look inside your bag. Like, shut up and just look inside your bag. The answer is there. Like, and, you know, look through the bag and we're just like, oh, my God. Like, it's just not here. Like, I'm just like... But it's in the bag. It's in the bag the whole time. And this episode right now, for me in this moment, is in my bag. You know, like, it may look differently for you. Like, this just so happens to be, like, one of the tools in my bag. Because it's like, telling my story, I just feel like, and recording it, and, like, putting it on the internet for it to, you know, be interpreted however, I just feel like, you know... That's me, like, getting through what I need to go through. That's me going in my bag of tools and saying, all right, I can use this to, you know, articulate how I feel. I can use this to, you know, if, if this is, if if I have a tool that is probably more useful for somebody else, I feel like that's one of my tools that I can use, you know, you for being someone else's resource in a way. Not in a way that is, uh, that exploits me, but in a way of, like, all right, like, I'm helping people around me and you know that 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 feeling is good for me like for somebody else it could be making music for somebody else it could be drawing for somebody else it could be like I don't know playing a sport like going out seeing nature and doing things like that like it looks different for everybody else uh, I do want you to know that and there's not one way to go about like you know is everybody tools is catered to them that's what I'm saying everybody's tools is catered to them so you know it's in these moments where we just feel so disconnected feel so isolated in many ways away from like everything that we want that we really really have to just look into our bag and you know hopefully hopefully you know you guys didn't throw away your bag because it's <laughs> listen that exists in these moments too where you like f the bag like I don't need this bag. This bag don't feel useful to me, so I'm just going to get rid of it. But don't chuck away your bag. Don't chuck away your bag of tools, your bag of tricks, and none of that. Because literally what exists within it is everything you need for everything you want it. 
and you know, I think, yeah, I'm gonna just leave it right there because, like, that's just like a good feeling right there for me, as far as like, yeah, like, whatever I needed to get out, that was it, um, and that was it for me. So, um, I appreciate you guys' support. Um, <clears throat> gonna try to um, put out more content. Um, gonna look into creating different things for the YouTube platform. As far as things that I can do, things that I can talk about outside of growing through my pain. But um, make sure you uh, subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Um, leave a comment. Leave a heart in the comment. Um, notification bell. <laughs> it's just so much. And then um, if you haven't checked out the podcast, can't get enough of podcasts, be sure to check that out. That's on SoundCloud. It's on um, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify. And it's on the website, www.can'tgetenoughof.com slash podcast. Um, I appreciate you guys for um, the support. It means a lot. And continue to grow, continue to learn in due time.